So, coach, uh, welcome in Greece. Uh, seems to you a little bit funny all those story with all those journalists and the camera crews to waiting for you, or not? Well, I'm excited to be here. It's the first time in 41 years of coaching, professional or college, where I've taken over a team in the middle of the season. So, uh, so, uh, coach, it's, uh, you are close to finalize uh, the deal with Panathinaikos because. Uh, we know that you already not signed the contract with the owner of Panathinaikos. What exactly no, will happen? No, I have signed the contract and um, ready to go. We practice at 5 o'clock. What do you know about your new team then? Well, I've watched about four films. Um, obviously, shooting has been one of the weaknesses and um, hopefully that we'll put in some different things in a very short period of time that hopefully will help the guys. Do you have any kind of concerns about the difference of the level of basketball that played in NCAA and uh, at the EuroLeague level? Well, I've coached the Puerto Rican uh, national team. I coached the New York Knicks and the Celtics, and then I coached in college. The one major difference I see, the EuroLeague is much more physical than the NBA. Much more physical. The NBA changed all their rules. So if there's any contact at all, they blow the whistle. In the Euro League, they don't blow the whistle. It's very, very physical. Uh, it's, it's more half-court basketball. And um, it's good basketball. It's, uh, the teams are very talented. Uh, watch Real Madrid, they're very talented. I know Moscow coming in is very talented. So uh, it's, it's something I'm used to more with the Puerto Rican national team than the NBA. So we are waiting to see your famous uh, full court pressure <laughs> at Euroleague level or not? Yeah, we're going to put it in. It'll take a little time though. It'll, uh, I'm hoping to get a little bit in today, a little bit in tomorrow, and we'll see what happens. You know, the most important thing is to be is to get the team uh, at a level where they have a chance to win. Obviously, and it, it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, first thing I have to do is get to know the players, get to know their strengths, their weaknesses, and uh, then try to put in a defense that's going to give people problems. So, Coach, uh, uh, can you tell us uh, about your uh, motivation to to take in Greece for uh, actually for your first outside the US, United States professional job? Uh, because for in Puerto Rico, as uh, we know, you you work without money, or not? That's true. Yes. 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 So, uh, what is exactly your uh, motivation to work here? My motivation, more than anything else, is you know when you coach at every level, you learn certain things that are different. Uh, like I said, the NBA is far different than the Euroleague. College is far different than the Euroleague. So it's it's a lot of fun to learn new things. Even though I'm coaching 41 years, it's exciting to learn new things. It's also exciting to bring a brand of basketball where the fans are going to be excited. So it's a, it's a challenge. Uh, right now, we have a losing record, and uh, we've got to try to turn that around. Yes, but your, uh, your personal record, the NCAA, is a winning record. So uh, how simple is it to make all those adjustments for you? Well, the first thing you have to do is, is <clears throat> establish what you can do and what you can't do with the team. You can't put in too much uh, we have a game in 48 hours, so you can't put in too much. You have to stay with the offenses they're running now and then try to put in some defenses that the opponent's not used to. Which player do you think that uh, will help you about your goals? Well, I haven't seen him play except for film, so I want to see in person before I make that judgment. <laughs>